So technical errors are one of the errors that we need to speak about. So technical errors can uh, also cause a bio discrepancy. Example, if uh, blood samples and tubes are labeled in error, uh, failure to add the reagents as uh, needed, you know, we have uh, cell suspensions are too heavy or too light, so we have prozone or post-zone reaction. Then we have clerical errors in which incorrect results have been documented. We have a mix-up of the sample, so the wrong patient sample with the wrong label. Then we have mixed observation of hemolysis. So we, we missed that observation of the hemolysis. So we saw hemolysis taking place, but we never picked it up at the time when it was happening. So we failed to realize that something was wrong. So failure to add reagents, failure to add the sample. So we're doing the testing now, we forget to add, to add the sample so that there is a problem. Failure to follow up with the manufacturer's instruction because from time to time the manufacturer instructions will be altered, will be changed based on the batch of uh, reagent that they are sending and what in-house testing they are doing to validate their study. So they may use a different uh, reagent that needs to react a slightly differently than what you know, but you are going in with your mind to say, hey, this is how it has been done for the last five years, so this is how it should be done. But changes do happen over time. Then we have a situation where the uncalibrated centrifuge can either centrifuge too fast or centrifuge too slow, which means that you can miss the reaction or when it's spun too fast, the reaction uh, forms, but then it is broken up. So over centrifugation or under centrifugation, that there can be a problem. And if the centrifuge is not calibrated to the appropriate speed, then we are going to have a challenge. So we want to get rid of all of these uh, technical errors that exist. If the reagents are contaminated, bacteria is in them, then they will fail to react as how they were intended to react.